Hi everyone, right I've got a tutorial for you today Um I just thought well come on let's do something not done anything for a while I've got this board, this plaque Um I'll have to get Hubby to do the hole there now it's been done let's just see if we can poke it through Um yes <sighs> blow it onto there and hoover up <laughs> anyway so we've got this plaque I'm going to use one of these metal plates that I've just been giving out on the, um, and you have to excuse me because I've been working, um, giving out a metal plate. Now, the keyhole's that way, but I'm not bothered about that because I think I'm going to have it that way and we'll cover this. Uh, I have given it a good wash. It is an antique one, a vintage one, um, and I'm going to put that one probably like that. But I wasn't quite sure what to do, so I've got some, it's a butterfly theme. So I've got some butterflies and a picture. Um, I'm going to go through the paints with you, but I've got, let me just get this one out for you. When I can. I've got one of these, which is a butterfly template. Um... But I've also got other bits, so that's basically just for the background. Now, I don't know whether to have it, because I'm not going to be um, that particular about this, to be honest, and have the photograph here, because I do want that. And I've got this, which is a moment in time. Um, I've got some of the branches. I've got some of the uh, wheels, like flowers, and the butterflies as well. But we'll see how we go. I'm not sure what way I'm going to do it. But I think we're going to do that. And in order to do that, what I'm going to use is some crackle medium, which is a Dreamweaver stencilist crackle medium. Stencils crackle medium. So let's have a look. Hopefully, I'll have enough. Uh, what am I doing? Silly woman, I need to prepare the board only because I want to. I don't have to. It's not a law that says you have to. So what I'm going to do is use some heavy gesso. And it is really thick. It's like that one coat paint, to be honest. So what we're going to do... Right, I always take it from the lid. In fact, you know what? I don't have to because I'm only using it for this. So I now have my paintbrush. Um, I might just use a broad one, actually. Just pop that one in there for now. I'm going to use a paintbrush. A wide one. And we're going to paint the board. I'm trying to keep the camera still. I'm going to put my... See, I'm not sure if he wants it there. But you know what? I'm going to go for it. I think... Let me see if I'm going to line this up. There. Bring that down. Here. have to make sure that kind of... I think that will do. I'm not going to mess about with it. Just let me pop on the lid to my gesso. And we're going to use the Dreamweavers. So I'm just going to hold that down.
smooth that out. Yes, like that. Now, I'm just going to put my stencil to one side, clean off my knife. I'll stick that in there. And I'll clean the stencil off later. But now all you have to do is to dry this. spray it and I might need my brush actually again for this because I also want to I'm using the cosmic shimmer we have this in this is the ink spray mist and this is the chestnut and um, it's pretty dark and but look you can see the cracks so what I'm going to do is just brush this on for the background and you see look at that isn't that beautiful how that shows through oh it's lovely it really is pretty I'm just going to spray a little bit more so I can get round the edges and we'll spray that a bit more yeah that has come out really pretty I like that and I'm going it doesn't matter if it goes round the edge I'm going to spray that anyway or colour that but look isn't that gorgeous now do you know what it reminds me of you know the old vintage tiles where they, when they crack after you know years and years and years that's what they remind me of this the crackling on it uh, the old swimming pool when we used to go down to the old swimming pool the public baths that were freezing cold <laughs> just trying to take the air bubble out oh I love that beautiful absolutely beautiful now what i'm going to do just because i want to um is to a little bit of spray on the bottom oh drop my bottle my my okay i'm just going to turn this around just so that i can Oops, I'm not bothered about getting it on my mat. At all. Okay. Just at the edge. So I'm not fussing about this at all. It uh, will do what I want it to do. Well, I don't know what I want it to do because I'm actually just playing about. Um, I often do this. I'll sit, get some materials out and play. Um, it's the best way to discover things or to create, really. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. Yes. What I'm going to do now, it will go lighter. I'm going to dry that. And uh, just pop that in the pot.
Now what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to start and just do a little bit more colouring, I think. Now what I've got here are some new uh, paints, they're acrylic paint. Um, and uh, this is Deep Waters, that's blue, but I'm not going to use that because I'm going to be using the, I think it's this one, yeah. This is Dark Velvet and this which is the pink blush and that's the two colours because I want this um, I'm doing this for a friend actually nice deep lids so you get a really good grip look at the depth in that lid and you get a really good grip on it normally your lids come like that and there's a difference look so they do help and I've got some microbeads that I'm also going to be using but not yet because I have to have this completely dried so just pop that out and as you know I paint from the lid it does stop them from getting dirty now what I'm going to be doing <laughs> yeah. if I can find what I need uh, the type of brush let me just see because I have to get the right one. Let's have a look at this one. There we go. And I'm going to use this, like a stippling brush. Because we're just going to play. Okay, now I'm going to go darkest first. Like that. And I'm just going to dot around the butterfly point of crafting is to do what you like not what anybody thinks you should be doing. Now, that's quite bright for me, so what I'm going to do is now turn that down. I'm just going to pop that on there. And what we do is we just spray it on top with a little bit of our base coat. You can spray the butterfly again and leave that. Love, love, love that. And we just go over it. Now, what I need to do, I'm just going to pop that in the water, finish with that one, put the lid back on these. I don't know what I'm doing with the lid. <laughs> Somewhere. Um, I need to get my tissue. Here we are. I'm just going to clean off the butterfly a little bit. See, it'll help that uh, stand out a bit more. like that and then just dab that take the excess off it yeah I like that now it's come through better so what I'm going to do is just get a little bit of water I like that just to wet that and then take the excess off just wet it and take the excess off that's better I like that. Yeah. So I'm going to throw that bit of paper away. Now what we're going to do is start to add some more bits and pieces. Now I've got some smaller butterflies here. I'm going to layer this one I think. It all depends if it goes right but I've got to put the um, 
take all these fitments out of it first. I think it's okay. I can still see everything that I've done. Um, now I need, I can't put the picture on. I might not even put the picture on. I don't know yet. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm just doing it as I go along. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is um, I am going to give this a coat of the ink. Okay, so I think we've caught everything there. Uh, just going to get another towel, or tissue, whichever, and dab that. That'll put a darker colour on it for me. And I'm going to dry that. Hi everyone, right we've got a visitor on my uh, second half of the video, say hi Wendy. Hi Wendy. <laughs> there she's back with us. Uh, I've had a lot of people asking about you, where are you, what are you doing and why. I'm just doing one thing after another, I've got poorly fingers. She has, if you go onto her Facebook page she's got poorly fingers. Yeah. Well, she... yeah. Right what I'm going to do now, what I've done is I've just added a few green, you know, uh, grasses and whatever and some flowers that we're going to colour them now now I'm not bothered if the ink goes anywhere else because it'll just wipe off which I will get a cloth ready for that um, and I'm just using the same one which is the chestnut to start with so it's darkening them considerably I'll just turn that around Yep, I like that. Just going to do the other side. We'll let that dry. And I'm going to dry them off anyway, but... Uh... I'm going to say, I've not done anything like this for a long while. Yeah, that's good. Oh, it's nice to have a bit of a crafting hour. It's fine, yeah. But I'm getting caught in the damn stuff. Is it in what? Coated in it. Oh. I haven't got the mats and that like I have at home, and they're not. I haven't got them here because I don't generally do anything like this. Right, so that's that one, uh, and then I'm just going to take the cloth and just wipe that clean around the edge. 
and then we're going to use this one which is the plum twist love this one these are all the cosmic shimmers they are in the shop i love cosmic shimmers they are nice aren't they? this has got the well like i say it's a plum twist to it um but i love the way uh, the way the butterfly turned out oh. it's lovely yeah I'm basically get, gonna kind of like layer this just, just while that's wet take the excess off that ties everything in together and um, the next one I'm going to use is the candy pink that's Beautiful. you I've made, did yeah. you did you get that one I've got um, the angel mist and the candy pink they're both pinks Oh no, I like those. Oh, they're absolutely gorgeous, these. It looks like I'm going to be going shopping again. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to put those like that. When they dry, they're absolutely gorgeous. And then, like I say, just dab that again. And they've got such a hue, you know, like a shimmer to them. Yeah. Yeah. Right, here we go with the candy pink. This is gorgeous, this one. Glamorous. But I love that because I bought a stencil for the butterfly, the big butterfly. Oh, yeah. Put that on the back and I used the um, Crackle Medium. The yeah. Dreamweavers one. Oh, right, yeah. Well, to do the crackling in. Looks, it reminded me of the old-fashioned swimming pool tiles. You know where they crack after so long, they, they um, lacquer on them and that? Yeah, I do, yeah. Oh, 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 me likes that. Yeah, I'm going to have to let that dry. Um, I'm just going to take off the excess around the edge and leave them to dry. I do like that. Well, you saw it just before I put the colour on. Yeah. I just like the way you can see the butterfly. Can I show you? Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. With all three colours on. Four colours. So that's that. Just going to take the heat gun and dry that off. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's right. It's got to be... Hello. Raymond, I've been sat here all day. You've never rang. I've filming and you've rang. <laughs> How do you do it? Neither do I. Honest to God, I could bet a life savings on him ringing. I've got Wendy with me. I can't but Can you believe that? No, oh, she's not God. in the office. Well, she's in the office. I said it was rain before you picked it up. Wendy's on Skype and she's talking while I'm filming. You don't understand the technology, neither do I really, but uh, no, I can't believe all day I've been here and you've just rang when I've started filming again. <sighs> Never mind. I'm fine, can I finish my film and then I'll ring you? Right then, bye. <laughs> can you believe it? <laughs> How does he do it? I. That's funny. How? I, I just don't understand how he does it. It's like a film phobia pigeon. <laughs> and for anybody who's not uh, been with us before or has just joined us, Raymondo, my beloved hubby dubby, always. When I start a project, always rings. Now, he didn't do it in the first half, which was good. But he did now. I just, I don't get it. <laughs> right, let's go back to doing this. Well, you stabbed yourself before. No, but that stopped. All right. right. Right, like I say, what I'm going to be doing with this now is I don't have, see I haven't got some of my materials here, you know like the rub and buff, 
But yeah. I have got my paint. So I've got a little tub of gold paint. And that's what I did the moment in time with. So what I'm going to do now is do the same thing just over the flowers. And I'm just going to put that on there and then just go over the edges with it. You only need a touch. It's just a little touch of gold. You've still got thunder. You've got thunder. I think you've. it's coming up this way, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So, hopefully you can see this bit. I'm just going to do this one. Yeah, I don't know why I haven't got that in the office. Mind you, I don't normally craft here, do I? It's, uh, no. And craft at home generally. That's it. And I'm not doing much with it at all. Just go back to this one. It's just to give it a bit of colour. Go back and do that one. I don't know whether anybody else is left in the building. I think I'm on my uh, me Todd. <laughs> I usually am on a weekend though. Everybody goes home after a while. And I just get left here. <laughs> then I start hearing noises. Oh dear, oh dear. Doors going, windows going, people up and down on the above me, people below me, and I'm thinking, nah, no, I'm on my own. <laughs> I generally it'll go down and lock the front door and leave the back yeah. door open. Yeah. Sorry, lock the back door and leave the front one open. Yeah. Right, that is all I'm doing. Do we need? Yeah, we need a little bit of that. Hang on a minute. We just need a touch of that on the wings of this one. So I'm just gonna do. Oh yeah, that's better. On top of it, we've got the microbeads on there, don't forget. There we go. That is it. That is all I am doing. So, I'm just going to share that with you. A little plaque. Oh, that's nice. I love the colour. It's lovely. Purples and pinks. Yeah, very nice. Um, there you go. A tutorial we haven't had in a long while. And mm. I hope you like that. Yep, you can see that. Thanks for watching. Say goodbye, Wendy. Short visit today. <laughs> Bye, Wendy. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye for now.